Bonjour, I'm Vivian, and welcome to the beautiful Loire Valley of France, home to the world's most spectacular fairy tale castles. It is also the location of my home, a small neo Renaissance chateau which I share with my husband Simon, daughter Isabella, and whenever possible, friends and family. However, this is not our first chateau. For 17 years, we lovingly restored and adored a much larger castle until we decided to downsize. And now we are doing it all again, but this time on a smaller scale. So join us for some chateau fun, chateau life, chateau renovations, chateau travel, chateau food, chateau friends, and chateau love. Welcome to Venice. Welcome everyone, Simon and I are driving to Venice. We had an extremely late night last night. We are in the car on our way to Venice. It is so late at night here and we got a late, late start. Simon had some last minute um, work things that he had to do and we had some last minute chateau things we had to do and of course we had all of the packing of the costumes. Um, if you watched the video that I uploaded three days ago on Valentine's Day, it was our one year Chateau Love anniversary. And we did a little recap of some of the fun things we've done this year as well as preparing for our trip to Venice getting the costumes ready. That has been a marathon, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Four costumes in record time. There are real costumers out there somewhere really laughing at me right now. Three in the morning, the night before leaving, I'm trying to sew a ball gown with very little experience and I'm making really stupid mistakes. I actually just sewed the wrong side of the fabric to the other side of the fabric. But I am determined. I'm determined to make this work. And as many of you know now, if you've been watching Steve and Sarah's blog, Matter and Maker, or the Chateau Diaries with Stephanie Jarvis and Philip and all of the other incredible Lalanders, we are meeting all of them when we get there, as well as Curtis Ryan Woodside and his husband, Filippo, in Verona. So this is going to be an epic journey. We're on our way to meet Steve and Sarah in Geneva, and then heading on tomorrow to Venice. At the moment, we have an ETA of about four o'clock in the morning, maybe later. We're gonna get there though. This is gonna be fantastic. Can't wait. In case you guys thought I was done sewing with the projects, not quite. I'm still sewing in the car at two in the morning on the way to Venice. Right. We had plans to meet with Steve and Sarah in Geneva at our hotel, which we didn't arrive to until 5.30 this morning. We then woke up about, what, three hours later? <laughs> and we are on the road, driving through France, Switzerland, and Italy. We are going to take you through the Mont Blanc Tunnel. We are going to show you some gorgeous scenery driving down to Venice. Couldn't show you anything last night, it was pitch black. I think we're just running on excitement now, aren't we? Oh look, if anybody can see this behind Simon. It's just absolutely stunning driving through the Alps. So we just drove through the tunnel, came out the other side to clear, magnificent blue skies. That's crazy. On the other side of the, on the other side of the mountains, the weather's completely different. And look, there's Mont Blanc behind us. Yeah, yeah that's crazy though. But here we are on the other side, and it's sunny. It's beautiful. Why what a wonderful be... drive. Ray over here as well. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay, we're in Italy. Italian. Woohoo! Italian, uh, Italian. We're passing beautiful castles along the drive. And as you can see, looking completely different from anything in France. Another one just right there. So, so glad you guys are here joining us. We're stopping off at an Italian uh, service station. So we're here to get to see petrol. And we have a lovely sunset behind us driving on our way into Venice. 
So if any of you would like to see what this is like inside, this is gonna be fun. We can get our espresso and our cappuccino, which we really need because we've been driving for two days. Okay. And we got some coffee. Good. Look at this. Giant golden chocolate bars. You think we should get one for Isabella? Definitely. She'd probably like that. Yeah. She'd probably love it's that. It's like a Willy Wonka thing. But look at this, this is even more crazy. Inside? There might be a ticket inside. Golden ticket inside. Look. They've got batteries and kisses. Piles oh, and piles of giant lint golden chocolate bars. That one's oh, beautiful, isn't it? Let's get some of those. Mm -hmm. Do you want to get one of those for Yeah, let's get two. Let's get two. Two. Let's go crazy and get two. Okay. And then here's the other thing that she would go nuts over. Remember when she was a little girl? She loved these bioki. Oh, yeah. But check this out. Pull one out. So I'm, I'm going to reiterate to everybody that we are, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> we are in a roadside place trying to get, this is like a gas station on the side of an Italian motorway with supersized chips, supersized cookies, supersized chocolate, um, massive stuffed animals, giant things of olive proper, oil. A proper thing of olive oil. For about 12 euros. It's pretty good actually. And look at all of this beautiful pasta. Pasta sauce. It's all here. Look at these. It's amazing. I feel like we need to stop back here at the Wild West on our way back. This is so great. Espresso. So we know our priorities here in Italy. Pasta, chocolate, coffee, and oh, oh, and here's the wine section. Look. This is actually quite beautiful. Oh, and of course, the here's the salami limoncino. section, the fresh salami section. Yeah, okay. Oh, cheese. Look, cheese, a whole cheese counter. A very beautiful, elegant cheese counter. Excuse me. <laughs> Do you see anything you like to look at? No. Look, that's a whole selection. Not right now. Not, not, not here on the side of the road as people are waiting for us in Venice. Yes, um, we need to... And look, giant Proseccos. Giant, look, here, pick one of those up joy so everyone is. can see how big that is, Simon. The joy of that. Think, does that mean the joy? I hope so. The joy of Prosecco. Yes, there will be lots of joy the of Prosecco. Joyfulness, the joyfulness. And... Oh, maybe, I don't know what that means, actually, Giorgi. I might mean something else. And something actually did catch my eye, which I think you'll like the look of. And so... I know, the prices are amazing. So look at this. Look at, aren't these beautiful? We've just run out of salt at home and look at that. Again, hold it up for size. Look how beautiful this is. That is gorgeous. And there's a pepper one too, why don't we get some? <laughs> seriously? I'm, I'm seriously thinking about how we're gonna carry this onto the island of Venice. No, those can stay in the car. We don't need to take those onto the island of Venice. But wouldn't those be great at the chateau? I'll get them if you want them. Yep, okay, I'll meet you at the service till. Makes pressure for them, all right. Okay. Simon just stopped to get a drink and a snack on the roadside here in Italy. <laughs> and we know we're in Italy because this is what you got, which is not very car appropriate. <laughs> How's anybody gonna eat that driving? It just looks so good. Well, it does it look pretty looks so good. good. I'm here in Italy and it's pizza, real pizza. Italian pizza. Sold at the petrol station. Well, it doesn't matter where. You know, Italians <laughs> can make pizza wherever they are. That's true. It does look very good. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and miracle of miracles, we finally made it all the way to Venice. I'm a road, I'm a road, road, road. And this is our beautiful water taxi. <laughs> no, no, it's not our first time, but uh, it's our first time for Carnival. Ah, for Carnival. Yes, we're so excited. What are you most excited about? Ah, something to eat. It'd be nice. I'm <laughs> hungry. I haven't had any uh, Italian food since that pizza in the service station. I think I'm ready for some pasta or a little bit of something else.
But for carnival, it's very quiet also? No, during the weekend there are many parties. Yes. Many parties. But then last year and the year before it was cancelled, yes? Sorry? Uh, the carnival was cancelled last year and the year before? Yes, cancelled. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So this is the first year for exactly. three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, everyone is happy? Yes. <laughs> coming more tourists. Yes, it's important exactly. for Venice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, the fish market. That's the most beautiful fish market I've ever seen. Here's the uh, Rialto Bridge. Ah, okay, so coming up to Rialto, close to our apartment, yes? Yes. No, I wish I could because we can eat here. <laughs> I think we could eat everywhere. Well, not Simon's got one thing on the brain. I'm excited about art, architecture, and friends, and you're just thinking of your. your thinking tummy. of food. I mean, you know. two things gondoliers and the recycling which is happening right under our window this is a fascinating system that they have I do hope it's not going on every morning outside our window but we did need to get up this morning and how cool is this a lovely family waking up inside I'll give you a quick tour of our apartment Here's our sitting room with our incredible view of the canal just outside. We've had gondolas going past endlessly and it is so charming. I am completely in love with these floors. And then most interestingly of all, the entire rooms are edged with marble. We have the kitchen straight ahead, one of the bathrooms in here, and my favorite part, these lovely recently painted frescoes. And then we have the bedrooms. Here's our bedroom. This is another one of the bedrooms, which is very funky and has a beautiful view outside into a charming courtyard. Doesn't that look like a fun place to hang out? And another lovely bathroom with a great painted ceiling. But we were talking with the people who own this residency and apparently upstairs, there's an even nicer one. So we were gonna go up and have a look. You might stay here next year. <laughs> I oh, love these goodness. inlaid floors. Oh, nice wow. Room. What a pretty part, look at this. This is spectacular. Yeah. Beautiful hand painted ceilings and Gorgeous walls, a real flavor of Venice. Look at these old mirrors. This is really nice. So this is one bedroom. Uh-huh. And then through here, we're gonna go and show you this bedroom. Also really nice. Good sized room. Oh, it's lovely. And it's got this yeah, vintage wallpaper. Or is this fabric? Wallpaper. It's fabric actually. Oh. Yeah. 
goodness, that's lovely. Yeah, it's actually a tapestry, fabric wall. And beautiful carved bean ceilings. Oh, and monkeys. <laughs> monkeys and Buddhas. <laughs> oh. Bathroom in here. Lovely. It's got a chandelier in the bathroom, which of course I like very much. Oh, look at this. Wow, it's massive. Is this the kitchen? Oh, this is the kitchen. So it's partially in an armoire. Yeah. See? This is see? very interesting from a design perspective, the way this has been laid out so in this open plan. Right. The kitchen's all in there. So there's a cooker and a sink in there. Yeah. You have your fridge, you have your open uh, units here and a nice breakfast bar. Which is a giant slab of stone on top of giant wooden beams. The and then look really at this nice glorious space. space. The space is incredible, and we're overlooking the canal. And the light fixtures are bells. They're massive bells. bells. And a lovely seating area. <laughs> and this truly is a ballroom-sized room. It's very big. Come around and show everybody from this angle. They have the same view, just a little higher, that we have from upstairs. Yeah, open it up and have a look. There you go. That's your view outside. Hello, gondolas. Hello, Venice. And someone has become very, very contemporary with the old paintings. We are now entering the Piazza San Marco where we're going to go find Steve and Sarah. So exciting. Here we are. Beautiful, Welcome to Venice. <laughs> Gorgeous. Look who's here. Oh my god, you look so beautiful. You look so beautiful. Thank you. You are a princess. And oh my. <laughs> You're looking amazing. I doffed my hat. Oh, you look incredible. Wow. Look at you see the back? Oh, awesome. My. Right? Oh, Simon. You do an amazing job. <laughs> Great, aren't they? You are magnificent. Well, I think it was. Well done. Well done. <laughs> and we're so happy to see you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Steve and Sarah are celebrities now. Everybody wants to have a picture with them. They've come out the day before. And aren't they grand? Yeah. Including us, we're all taking their photos too because they're so fabulous. <laughs> For our first night, we're having a walk around. Here we are at the Rialto Bridge. And as you can see, it's very quiet. Things still haven't recovered since the pandemic, but it's actually a wonderful time to be visiting cool. Venice. And apparently it's a good time for some people to get selfies. Am I in the selfie too? Come on then. Oh, yeah. well, right. You're not coming in, you're not coming in. Screws in, uh, that's it. There we go, there you go, everyone screws in. Uh, hang on, there we go, right, that's it. Okay. Smile!
second generation Chateau love. <laughs> you kiss me, heaven sighs, and though I close my eyes, I see love. And now it's time for cheese of the week. Here we are in Venice, and we're going to do an Italian cheese, which everyone's had. Mozzarella. Mozzarella di bufala. And this is one I'm having here, sitting on the Grand Canal in Venice. It's not really the cheese that's that special, it's just the setting. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. This dessert is mascarpone. Mascarpone. Mascarpone, and it's a cheese. <laughs> Again. So, so we have two cheese of the week. Two cheese of the week. <laughs> second cheese of the week. Of the week. Mozzarella di bufala and mascarpone. It and it's served with what? Uh, it looks like it has a caramel syrup on it. And amaretti biscuits. And, amaretti biscuits, yeah. and Isabella, what do you have? Uh, I have panna cotta with berries and a little bit of ice cream on the side. And Jack, what do you have? You have some delicious chocolates. Okay, everybody. Good. Bon appetito. Well, you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart A world where roses bloom And when you speak Angels say What are you guys say, doing? How did you can? Getting dressed, huh? <laughs> Getting corseted Uh-huh Wow So we have already three layers on mm -hmm. Which is the chemise the pannier, the corset, and we're not even remotely finished yet with Isabella's fabulous costume. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna like a princess. You're gonna look like a princess. You always look like a princess, but you're gonna look like even more of a princess. Thank you, Emma. <laughs> We're not even done yet. We're not remotely done yet. A cup? Yeah, that looks great. It's like she is Marie Antoinette. Look at that hair, it's outstanding. Which I guess would make Jack Louis says. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do a curl uh -huh. and a ribbon. And then okay. we're ready to go out uh, and hit the Piazza dressed. San Marco. <laughs> okay. The skirt like mm -hmm. boat rigging. Oops. Hold on. Well, oh. there we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheek. You, you, you tidy Jack's jabot while I sort out your skirt. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone looks so beautiful. Thank you, Bell. Speak and just sing from a Isabella and Jack are about to make their grand entrance into the Piazza San Marco behind me. Costumes. <laughs> I know we we decided that day day one should be Isabella Jack Day. <laughs> Pulled it off. 
spectacular job. Thank you so much. For somebody who has not made clothing before. Well, and they, I did this with them not being at the house. I mean, so this was a bit of a guessing game, but it worked out. Even the shoes fit Jack, which is, I think it's nothing short of a miracle, actually. Honestly, that is phenomenal. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know, they look so sweet too, don't they? Simon and I did not dress up today. Jack and Isabella dressed up as well as Steve and Sarah. And this huge crowd behind me. Look, it's to see our gang. <laughs> it's really, really fun. They are magnificent. Oh, hello. You're superb. Yes, we must have a photo of everyone. How does it feel to be a celebrity in Venice? <laughs> Pretty amazing. Uh, Steve is addicted, I'm not gonna lie. This is definitely outside my comfort zone, but I am quite enjoying it. Are, are your faces hurting yet from all yeah. the smiling? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And all so the posing? It's, awesome. yeah. it's just awesome. I mean, and it's a testament to the, to the wonderful costume makers, both yourself and Sarah. Yes. That everybody wants to wants a photo of us. Exactly. Like, honestly, it's just fantastic. You know? Yeah, and you guys do look so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. But it's really fun, isn't it? it, it it's is. a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Say chateau love. <laughs> no. <laughs> and every beautiful Baroque couple needs ice cream <laughs> or gelati. This is our little street. That's our little apartment right there with the balcony. Here's the canal. And gondolas. We are having the most beautiful dinner at a Belle Epoque restaurant with our gorgeous friends. And a fabulous dessert on its way. Everyone likes something cooked at the table. Mm. And on fire. Yeah. Yeah, don't we like things on fire? <laughs> <laughs> food's, food's better when it's on fire. I it's Something our primitive nature. You're going to do this in your dorm room, are you? Is she going to do this in her dorm room? <laughs> yeah, talking, about, talking about if you'd be allowed to do that. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hot plates in the dorm room. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mildly catch my hair on fire from one of the cats. <laughs> <laughs> no, exactly. It was, it was, it was the crackling thing about a panic. The crackling. <laughs> the crackling <laughs> <in> the <laughs> 
Ooh, la la. <laughs> so this is what I have to contend with. I have to edit all the time. <laughs> That's why there's a lot of music in our hours, videos. Two hours of editing to get rid of these two. <laughs> Oh, there's more. There's more. Ooh. Oh, Meanwhile, this while the fire is happening. Yeah, we shortbread, lovely. What is this you've got, Simon? Oh this is um, <laughs> milia folio, I think, something like that. Anyway. So milfoy, milfoy, milfolio. Yeah. It's a milfoy yeah. with strawberries and cream. Beautiful. Yeah. We'll see now. There you go. You see. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, it's nice, uh, oh. oh, it's beautiful. Jack, what do you have? Uh, chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Chocolate Good choice. With chocolate grains, so they gave me the chocolate grains as well. Are you just saying things that you're on camera? Yes, he is. That's exactly what he's doing. He's saying things because he's being filmed, and he loves the sound of his own voice. <laughs> And then he's like, you edited all the good stuff out. Well, I say a lot of good stuff. You do say a lot of good <laughs> you know, stuff. You know, things you've got to listen to. I've, I've learned in videoing, vlogging, editing, and life to edit out about 80%. To filter me out. <laughs> to filter out the good. Yeah. The we modern just, music. We, we just take out the uh, the, the, uh, the voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's you and Sarah. Look all right. Thank you so much. Yeah, looks yes. Great. We're sharing some on our end. I just I'll have a bite of yours, Isabella. Yeah. <laughs> but now, now put a roll in it. Okay. Yeah, you've got to put so we catch up. Okay. <laughs> Can you show us how it's done first? Uh, you you it's so it's like Back. It's going to only go well. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to see the rest of the gang and we're so excited. We're especially excited that you are joining us. This video is just the beginning of our Venice and Verona adventures. Coming up, we have the big reveal of our costumes where we also meet lots of the other Lalanders in their costumes in the Piazza San Marco. We also take a magnificent gondola ride. We show you lots of sights of Venice toward the Doge's Palace. And best of all, have an incredible ball at a famous private palazzo with many of our other friends. We can't wait for you to join us. A huge thanks to all of our subscribers and those of you that like and comment. We read and cherish every single one and we are so happy that you are joining us on this incredible trip to the Veneto. Welcome to Venice.